Welcome to Shady Pines Festival. They've been waiting two years for this. All the artists, musicians, Remember my name. and really cool poets. Fit campfires to syllables, forests to lines, tied it all with heartstrings. A tiny anthem that makes hope resurrect. That resurrection is here at a Creekside Ranch in Oregon City, the first annual Shady Pines Festival, where for three days they'll soak in everything about being together. We really couldn't have imagined it. Um, it really started off as just a way to kind of keep folks busy during the pandemic. The IT is Shady Pines Radio. Before the pandemic, Brian and Callie Bauer hosted open mics and recorded bands in their studio. When that ended, they started the online community radio station to give artists an outlet. During the hard time of COVID, I feel like this was a place that people could express their feelings, share their experiences, and it was just real. Now, Shady Pines Radio has more than 100 DJs and runs 24-7. Musician Andrew Grumalot is a regular. He also loves to dance. It, it birthed a whole, uh, a whole different world that, at first, at first glance, would have seemed like a disconnect because you weren't have, able to have it in, in person. But it, it actually just gave us a chance to refine other areas and other other types of outlets. Poet Igor Brezhnev knows about that. Both hosting a show in Shady Pines Radio and listening, it provided a sense of connection that was gone and gone so abruptly. I'd say it the first time in a long time that we've all been in one big area together. I have so many questions, like, are these mushrooms or jellyfish? Here's another question people here keep asking themselves. Would all of this have happened had it not been for quarantine? But yeah, we would not have this community if it wasn't for the lockdown. We would probably still be hosting open mics and, you know, doing that the same thing. The Bowers plan to keep Shady Pines Radio going and they'll bring this festival back next summer. It's true, so much has changed, but that's not always a bad thing. This is a story of how we can be stars for each other, always an anthem of hope. In Oregon City, Katherine Cook, KGW News. I really love that, an anthem of hope. Who could argue with that? The festival runs through Sunday, but it's such a hot ticket, they're already sold out. Well, some good things came out of the pandemic, and you can still get involved if you have original music. Shady Pines Radio will play it on their station. We'll post more on KGW.com. Well,